Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sassy Saving Mimi. Um, I had promised that I would do a little bit of a, not a real cooking lesson, but let you folks know what I was making for dinner on this hot night with a heat index of 102. Um, but I still wanted to have a, like a nice meal. So I decided on a pork stir fry and some fried rice. And if you have watched any of my videos, you know that I make everything from scratch. Nothing is, um, well, sometimes I, I cheat, but I'm not cheating today. The only thing I didn't make was the soy sauce or, or grow the mushrooms. Um, so what I did was I got, had a very, very thick, large, boneless center cut pork chop. And um, I decided to make like a, a stir fry with it. So I sliced it very thin, as you can see, and I seasoned it with some ground ginger. And I have the real thin green beans. Um, they're not from my garden. Those aren't ready yet. But these are the real nice thin frozen ones you get from Aldi. So I threw about a quarter of a bag in, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of a bag, with some onion and mushroom. And I steamed all, I put some oil in the pan with some garlic. I threw the onions, mushroom, which are canned mushrooms, and green beans in the frying pan. And then I added a little bit of water and a cover, and I let them steam. And the minute the pork is done, this is going to be done. I'm using General Sal sauce for tonight. Or maybe I'll add a little sweet sauce. But that's going to be the final touch where I just toss it together with a little bit of sauce. Now the fried rice is extremely easy if you ever want to make fried rice. Um, all you got to do is you boil your rice. And in a pan I have some oil and some garlic, and I diced up some onion, and I had the frozen peas and carrots separately. I had bought them separately. And I threw those in, when the right, let them saute with some ginger powder and some soy sauce. That's all I used. And then when they were done, uh, the rice was done, I threw the rice in, tossed it around, and the rice is done. So, I mean, other than a five minute prep, this really took about, I'd say maybe, 15 minutes if you're including, or maybe, oh, if you get 20 minutes. 20 minutes from top to bottom, that's including the time it took for the rice to cook. So come on, folks, save some money when you want Chinese food. You can make it yourself if you have the right ingredients. Okay, all I'm, I, ginger powder is a staple. Ginger powder, garlic, uh, a little bit of soy sauce, you don't want to go crazy with it. And you can make up a real nice meal. So that is it for now. That's what we're having for dinner. It's early, it's all ready. I am just gonna throw some sweet and sour sauce in here. And the icon picture will be a photo of this when it's complete. So you folks, let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. And after you do that, don't forget to show me some loving by tapping that bell, giving me a thumbs up, and leaving a comment below. Tap the bell, please. Do that first so you don't forget, and this way you, you will be subscribed to my channel. I hope everyone's staying cool on this hot June night. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.